We are learning more today about the firefighter who died fighting the fire yesterday on Main Street, about his service to the public and the city of Buffalo. Most Buffalo's Ron Plants heard from the Firefighters Union and city officials today about Jason Arno. Hi, Ron. Hi, Kate. 37 year old Jason Arno had been a Buffalo firefighter for three years with previous assignments at Engine 21, then the rescue unit, and his final assignment was Engine 2 at that Elmwood and Virginia fire station with the purple and black memorial bunting now in place there, right over Engine 2. Uh, the truck is out of service for now as other members of Arno's unit rest and collectively grieve for his loss. Union officials describe Engine 2 as one of the busiest truck companies in the Buffalo Fire Department, so they say Arno wanted to be there. The union leader and Mayor Brown spoke today about this young firefighter who got married last summer with a young three-year-old daughter. He was a well-liked firefighter. Uh, for myself, I met him numerous times and uh, had the pleasure of working with him a few times. And for, I can just see his face and it's just that smile and he was always a great guy to be around. Even in the face of uh, the pain and tragedy that, that they were dealing with, you could see that they were really good people, really a caring uh, family, and they spoke very warmly about Jason Arno, uh, their family member, uh, their love for, for him. Uh, this is definitely a very, very difficult time for the family for our Buffalo Fire Department. Now, the union says they'll discuss the arrangements with the Arno family for his funeral, but they expect him to have a funeral with full honors, and it's likely firefighters from around the country, perhaps the world, will tend to pay their respects. State and federal assistance will be available for his wife and young daughter, but the local 282 Firefighters Union will also accept donations on their behalf. We'll have more information with a link on our website at WGRZ.com. I'm Ron Plants, Channel 2 News.